Compromise? What is compromising? Compromising for what? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are working with a Ford hair. So we're going to hop right into all the specs and things like that. It's a pretty basic cardboard packaging. 13 by 4 lace wig here. It is 22 inches and it is pre-colored but I do not believe that it is uh, pre-plucked or pre-bleached. So we're going to be doing a little bit of that and doing a little bit of styling and basically just doing a quick review of the wig. So let me go ahead and open this and then I'll be right back with you guys. So before we get into the wig, let's just get into the uh, the goodies, the extras that they send. So they do send a pair of lashes, which aren't bad at all. Um, lashes have really stepped up their game since I started doing hair here on YouTube. And these are really, really nice. I might even wear them. We don't know yet. Basic beige wig cap and two duckbill clips, which are, they're always good. I can always use more clips. So I've been doing a lot of pre-colored hair on my channel, just to kind of save me some time here. Uh, I haven't been in the most creative of moods, but I still do like a little bit of colored hair. And for the summer, I've been really digging these blonde, uh, these like sandy blonde looks. So we got like a, a light brown, reddish brown going on here. I don't know what that is. It's nice. Um, there aren't a ton of highlights and lowlights in this. It seems to be all one basic flat color. I am not really impressed by that. I like when there's like a little bit of highlights and lowlights, but the ombre is done really nicely. I like that the roots are dark. And I know that if I put some curls into this, it will come out looking really, really nice. So let's talk about the lace. 13 by 4 is what's listed on the package. It comes with the elastic band, which is always nice. I like to see that becoming a standard. This is actually positioned a little bit different than um, most elastic bands. Most elastic bands are positioned on the side. This one's kind of positioned to the back and at an angle, and I think that will be very helpful when it, like how it's sitting on your head, that it's not like sitting right behind your ears, because sometimes that does give me a headache. So that's kind of cool that they thought about that. The lace looks a little dark I don't know if it came this dark because I ordered it and they can clearly they know from my pictures that I'm darker skin but if you're lighter skin you may have a problem because this lace is actually pretty dark it's like almost my skin complexion and I am 88 double N in the uh, Urban Decay Naked Foundation my current foundation so if that helps you out any if not sorry about it this is not uh, pre bleached so I will have to go in and bleach those knots. Definitely gonna have to go in and bleach the knots. However, I do think there is some pre-plucking that was done. Not a lot, definitely gonna have to go in and do some plucking as well. So this is not gonna be a step-by-step uh, -step tutorial in the slightest. I have tons of plucking videos, tons of bleaching videos, so you can go ahead and watch those. I will come back with the wig mostly doctored up and we will do some styling and of course apply it and talk about you know my experience with the wig so let's get that started really quickly guys I am just showing you me bleaching the knots um, I did a mixture of 30 volume developer with click blue bleach and I left this on for about an hour I rinsed it out and then I went in again and bleached the knots a second time and left that on for about 15 minutes so I'm just doing a couple of clips of what the hair looked like after it was um, air dried and then flat ironed. This is without any product in it. However, you guys can notice those heat spikes, like those lines that I was telling you about. Eventually they did fade away, but it does worry me that they showed up anyway. I'm not sure what the problem was with the bleaching process and why those lines came when uh, I tried to flat iron the hair. And here's just a up close and personal look at the plucking that I did. I went back in and did some plucking. I think the hairline looks really nice and natural. And I want to show you guys how sleek and just flat this flat iron job was. The hair isn't frizzy at all. It's nice and smooth. You guys see me going in with my foundation powder and I'm just going to apply that all over the lace. In um, hindsight, this part wasn't necessary because I think I darkened the lace a little bit too much.
I am checking my part, seeing that it's a little over bleached, but I'm going to fix that in a few minutes with some hairspray, and you guys will see that momentarily. So I'm just adhering the wig to my skin <laughs> with the Got To Be Spray, Free Spray. I typically do this when I don't want my install to last more than a week. And I'm going to tighten it down with my favorite scarf. Now after that initial tightening down dried I went ahead and cut around the ear tabs sprayed a bit more of this free spray and then I tightened it up again and here you see me going with my scissors and I'm cutting in a zigzag motion to give the hairline a natural look And here's my third uh, application of free spray and that's just about it as far as applying the wig and styling it <laughs> I sprayed the hairspray in my face but uh, once I applied it to the part I just had to clean it up a bit put some concealer in there make the part super straight and here's the finished look my lips look great in this shot Okay guys, so I'm not sure at what point my camera cut off, but hopefully you guys saw uh, me kind of doctoring up the wig. I did realize that my part was a little over bleached, so I went in and just added some black hairspray. Uh, I forget which hairstyles I learned it from. I think it was Arrogant Tay, but I could be wrong. Um, I'm probably wrong, and if I find out, I'll put his name on the screen. I do know it was a guy, and I think I, it was here on YouTube. It might have been on Instagram. Either or. This wig is so freaking silky. All I did was flat iron it. I didn't do anything else to it. There's no product in it besides the hairspray that you guys saw me spray, which is the uh, new Got To Be Glued Volume Maniac. It's lit, but this is not a commercial for Volume Maniac. We're here to talk about the hair, but if you can get your hands on this, definitely do. It smells so freaking good. And that's just about it. I add a little concealer to my part. You guys saw when I bleached my knots. I did go in with foundation on my lace. I'm thinking about changing to a lighter foundation only because I think that my lace looks a little dark in person. I don't know if it's coming off on camera like that, but it's definitely coming off to me as being a little dark. So I might go up one shade in foundation for my lace. Other than that, this hair has given me no problems besides the heat spikes that I got when I was straightening it, um, it they seem to all be gone now but when I was straightening it it scared me because I started to get those like tiger lines if you guys have ever um, flat ironed or used hot tools on bleached hair you know what I'm talking about or even colored hair you'll start getting these heat spikes and they'll make lines where the uh, hot tool is just a little bit too hot for the hair but I'm glad it all cooled down and it's all back to that 130 color this wig is a 1B30. Um, I was trying to figure out <laughs> what color this was. I was like, I knew it wasn't a 27. It's too ashy to be a 27, but it's called a 1B30 and it's super, super cute. I feel like I need a uh, actual ring in my nose. So I might get, I actually might get my nose pierced this weekend and get a ring over here. I've been really wanting a ring in my nose. Anyway, that is beside the point. Um, again, this hair is from affordhair.com pretty sure that's the entire website but it'll be down in my description box as it always is but it's from a Ford hair it's a uh, lace front wig 13 by 4 it is really really nice um but other than that you guys there's not a lot to say about this wig only because it's pretty self-explanatory I did clip the ends to make them a little bit more full the hair is a 180 density so it's pretty full but it's a very natural full so it doesn't feel thin but it it flat ends bone straight so it kind of feels like it's like supernatural and um I don't want to say thin I I, I want to say when you flat iron it it just gets super silky straight and it's like it's just bone straight I think this color is a really good color on me I used to be so afraid of blonde like I can't believe I went so many years not wearing lighter colored hair um unless it was colored hair because of my skin tone like what was I thinking like past Brie baby Brie what were you thinking you look so good in this hair color like all the years wasted sis 
all the years wasted that you would not dare do a 27 or a 30 oh my god hair i laid the wig it was so easy all i've used has got to be spray this wig is laid um i did the same thing with my eyeshadow look today it's only one shadow it's uh the yellow in the morphe 35b palette but please just find a yellow single shadow I am um, still I've, I've already traded over my bronzer from Morphe and I hope to also trade over all of my shadows and brushes eventually I just have to find some more affordable brushes so I can swap out my Morphe ones because I am so dumb Morphe. anyway thank you guys so much for basically sticking with me through this brief uh, hair review as usual we will have the list of um the grade the rubric oh rubric it's been so long since i've been in school we will have the rubric here on this side and we'll basically um wrap up this video because i know you guys are sick of seeing me swing this hair back and forth but it's so nice it's so nice it's so nice <laughs> I need slow mos. I'm gonna do some slow mos at the end. It's been so long since I did some freaking slow mos, so I'll definitely do those and really have y'all mad at me. But I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you've ever shopped with the Ford hair and you have your own story or review, please leave it below. Uh, I try to bring you guys newer companies that you probably haven't thought about using just so you can shop with them. And um, yeah, so that's all for this one. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. I love you guys so much. Mwah.